ladies and gentlemen, it's Carnivale. It's the season before Lent. So what I'd like to do is show you a few recipes over the next couple weeks of what you can do to, to still have some good food, but respect and reduce the amount of meat you're gonna eat. So I'm just gonna make for us a simple pasta sauce. But this pasta sauce is very versatile, very flexible. It's what my grandmother made. I can't make it as good as she did, but I'll, I'll give it a try. Use it for just some regular pasta. You can put it with some meat. On Fridays, you can set it aside and just have it without meat and just throw it on some pasta. It's perfect for pizza, perfect for what the Americans call chicken parm, lasagna, etc. Um, so let's make some. We'll put it into proportions and, uh, and freeze some. And some we'll eat tonight. Maybe even throw a little meat into it. We'll see. Okay, so the first part of the, uh, the pasta sauce, and this is my grandmother's recipe, is to finely dice uh, about a cup of onion and three cloves of garlic. So let me start with the onion here and into a fine dice. We're not going to do any Godfather and uh, Goodfellas recipe with a bunch of meat and, and sausage and different things in the pasta sauce. This is going to be simple. Again, that's something we can do at home. And we can use when we're, um, you know, as I said, very flexible, very versatile. So I'm going to do a fine dice in here of my onion. I'm going to do about a cup of this. And we're going to do three cloves of garlic. And I'm going to put it in a pan with the sauce. And I'm not going to put a bunch of uh, um, spices in the sauce until we're about two to three quarters of the way um, finished with the sauce. I want it to cook quite a bit before I add all the spices, but I do want to get some onions and garlic in there to provide a little body to the sauce. Let me finish dicing this up, get my uh, garlic ready to go, and then we will uh, throw it in the pan and saute it. I'll show you how to do that. So I've diced the onion and uh, finally, uh, finally chopped the garlic. I've got about two tablespoons of oil, of olive oil in the pan. I put that in there, let it start to heat up. Saute rapidly, maybe a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna add, um, I'll add the tomato sauce. So we're looking at about, uh, I don't know, let's say 1.5 uh, kilos of the uh, tomato sauce. This will make a big batch. Again, I want to have a big batch of tomato sauce. I'm going to put a pinch of uh, salt in here while I'm getting this ready to saute. Um, a big batch of tomato sauce and then I'm going to freeze part of it and use it later this uh, this season of Lent here on a, on a weekend or throw it on some pizza. So let's bring this up. Let's start to saute these, uh, these onions this onion and some garlic. Once this is nice and translucent, we will then go ahead and add the tomato sauce and then let it come to a slight boil and simmer. I'll show you how to do that here once we get these uh, onions cooked down. Okay. Okay, so these onions are cooking very nicely. Garlic as well, releasing a little bit of that flavor. Again, I added a pinch of salt and pepper to kind of help sweat out those uh, the onions and release some of the juices that we're going to want in the sauce. So about another 30 seconds on these and then I'm going to add my passat. Again, I got a, these are two uh, 700 gram jars. I'm going to put two of them in there and um, make a big batch of, uh, of pasta sauce for spaghetti meatballs tonight or pizza or chicken parm, lasagna, whatever you, whatever you need. Another, another couple seconds here and one more, one more stir. Get those nice and cooked through. All right, let me go ahead and add the sauce here. I think we gotta add this in, stir it up, get this nice and incorporated. Add my other the jar of sauce here go like that and what I'll probably do is I'll get a little bit of water and rinse these out just to kind of 
Make sure I get all of the tomato sauce that's in those jars. I'm going to put this on low heat, cover it, and I'm going to let it come to a just a little bubbling boil, not a big boil, just a little bubble boil and back it off and then simmer it for probably a good hour or two hours before I start adding any of the spices. Let me show you what we got at that point. So I've brought this sauce up to temperature and as you can see it's kind of bubbling a little bit. Now I'm going to simmer it. I'll cover it and let it simmer. As you can see there's quite a little bit more than I had before. Talking with my wife we said hey if you're going to go and start making this you might as well make a big batch. So we added another 700 grams. So we're at just over two kilos of sauce. I did saute a little bit more onion to throw in there. And I'm just going to give this a little stir. Make sure nothing sticks to the bottom here. I want to stir this every 20 minutes or so. Just one quick stir. And you know, you may have seen that it's uh, it's a little liquidy, and I you know kind of added some water to the jar to mix and get the rest of the uh, of the sauce out of the jar. It's okay because I'm gonna it's gonna evaporate off. So you know, let this cook down for a couple hours. Start to thicken up before I add the spices. Mickey's getting a little restless over there in the corner. Don't worry, Mickey, we still got some time before this sauce is ready. So, gonna let this simmer for a couple hours, stir it every 20 minutes or so, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's ready for the spices. Okay, so I've been simmering this for a couple hours now, and you can see the level of the the sauce has gone down dramatically, so it's much thicker sauce. That's good. I'm going to add two pinches of cinnamon. Yes, cinnamon. Two pinches of allspice. One, two. And you may say, why allspice? In fact, Christopher Columbus brought allspice back to, to Europe on his, after his second voyage to the States. So it's been in cooking throughout the Mediterranean for quite some time. I'm going to add three teaspoons of basil. Get a good, good teaspoon there. Two, three. One teaspoon of garlic powder. And three teaspoons of oregano. Good, good teaspoon there. Good teaspoon there and a good teaspoon voila and then I'm going to stir this up and then I will let this simmer for another hour and then it'll be ready to go and you can serve it like that or you can add some meats to it and let it cook and simmer a little longer okay so check back in an hour so this sauce is done it's been final simmer for an hour with the spices in it's good to go serve it on your pasta what I, uh, you know, set it aside, put some in the refrigerator, put some in the freezer, save it for a rainy day, save it for a Friday. There's no meat in this, um, but obviously you can accompany it. You can add some sausage, some meatballs, etc. Another recipe I'll show you what to do with some meatballs. So this is done. We'll let it. We'll turn it off. Let it settle. And serve it with some pasta. Buon appetito. Good eats, hot treats. Bald chef of bourbon.